uh, take five, I guess, because <laughs> three and four were kind of combined and failed. Here we are. Uh, take one was a ramble fest and didn't make any sense. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. Wow, my settings need to be fixed. Take two was pretty close, but I kind of went far away from the structure that I wanted to go. Um, man, this, this video is already getting away from me. Do I want to start re-recording this? kind of do. All right. Take three. Ah, my nose is so stuffed. Take three and four were kind of a combined mess where I realized the uh, cable that I was using for my microphone was so messed up that when you barely tap it, it's a uh, recording. What's up, crew? It's John Connie, aka. Oh my god. Alright, I guess we're gonna stop. Kind of an explosion in your ear. So here we are, take five. What's up, crew? Welcome to another video. My name is John Connie, aka Big Man Syndrome. And if you're not a part of the crew, completely understand at this point. It has been a very inconsistent channel. And to be honest, I don't know if there's much hope for later, but uh, if you do want to join the crew, at some point, there will be some sort of consistency to look forward to. So today, uh, I want to kick off a little series that has to do with a recent purchase. Before I show you or dive into that a little bit more, I wanted to kind of talk about why I bought this book. It's extremely relevant because the reason why I've fallen off this most recent string of vlogs was essentially this. It's just, un I'm unable to own my day. I literally have plans in the morning when I wake up, I come into the garage and those plans go to shiz. Shit, am I allowed to say that? And it comes down to just too many things on my plate and not really being able to figure out how to, how or how I want to prioritize things. And most recently, for those of you who've been a part of the channel who recently uh, subscribed, I had a string of vlogs with Reload Prep, and I don't even know what happened to that. I never got an email that was like, all right, time to make your submissions. I, I guess I missed it somehow. And I had a really good string of vlogs. I had a couple of them that were really awesome. I had a bunch of them that were kind of like, I don't really... <laughs> think that these should be up uploaded but I'm, I'm trying to do this daily thing and that's sort of the catch-22 when it comes to daily vlogging if you're not if it's not your job if you're not focused on that 100% and at the end of that relo I think it was about 20 21 episodes I had a string of vlogs and then there was like an ending one where I I was like okay looks like I'm gonna have to try to batch these together I was getting ready to travel to LA for a client shoot and this batch it was yeah it was actually 18 or so to 21 and on that first day I had a podcast and then on the next day I was traveling the next day I was on a boat uh, in a port tour and then at a party for Next Trucking, one of my main clients. And then I was traveling the next morning and as soon as I landed, I was trying to charge all my stuff because I'm an idiot and I didn't charge it the night that I finished that event. Everything was pretty much dead. And then I was in a car like an hour later after landing, driving up to Santa Cruz to get on another boat. Essentially my plan on that Friday, because I was able to upload, or was it the Saturday before I left? I think it was the Saturday before I left that I uploaded. I thought, you know, I finished that vlog off by saying, all right, it looks like I'm gonna have to combine the rest of these videos or start doing batch videos uh, because I was starting to run out of time. So I consciously wanted to vlog every day and then create sort of like this batch situation. I think Craig used to do it and a bunch of other YouTubers, Max Tuning does it. And it's a really cool way to, to vlog without having a daily vlog. But as soon as I, you know, finished editing uh, that batch of videos, 18 to 21, I didn't pick up the camera. It was time to pack up. I was running late, got in the car, got on the plane, landed. And once I got to LA, it was just sort of like, nope. This isn't gonna happen. It's just, it's very, very hard to have the energy or motivation to do that when your business is videoing for other people and you have deadlines for them. Once I got to LA and not to mention the fact that I have two kids, it's really, <laughs> I've got a jam packed day making breakfast, dinner or working or trying to figure out life. Um, this is becoming way too long as always. And, 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 it just so happens, complete transparency, uh, slight 
deviation by playing World of Warcraft Classic because they just came back out with it and boy oh boy was I excited to play that didn't start off super uh, dedicated to the game and then it just sort of like I started leveling a little bit more and you know there you go it's just like what happened with um, Marvel Contest of Champions but anyways I digress so landed in LA just sort of decided you know what I'm not gonna vlog today and we'll see what happens the rest of the days and then I you know did the event with next super exhausted traveled and then did the event with uh, it was actually a Knob Creek uh, event that the events company put on and I was doing the event for I was doing the video for the events company so on a boat another exhausting day I was dead next day I was still dead and I had to start putting together these several videos I had the podcast I had the next trucking stuff which I was already behind for the month prior and I still haven't even finished all the videos and the the event video for Knob Creek so I had three to seven because there's a, a couple of other shorts in there uh videos to get done and you know i was also trying to do daily vlogs or at least batch vlogs and update every day so all of that combined just turned into a nope just decided not to do it anymore and for whatever reason that went on to you know i actually now that i think about it i had everything uh, every, every bit of camera gear in my bag until I just recently went down to San Diego for Jean's wedding, Jean and Sam. And I, I haven't like professionally used my camera since then. I didn't have any gigs, didn't have any recording sessions. I think I, I might've gone to next one more time. No, I, I literally touched nothing since the, um, Santa Cruz boating event that is the last time i touched camera gear just to sort of cap it off with that uh you know at seven minutes into this video i went down to jean and sam's wedding and i was just so discombobulated from you know not video doing video stuff for myself and having not touched my camera bag that when i got down there i realized oh jesus i haven't touched anything and i haven't charged anything i haven't really done anything with any of my stuff i forgot my drone and that whole entire day for their wedding was just like a whirlwind like i if, i've never used my stuff before got some great shots for sure but it was like whoa this is all new again <laughs> it was kind of crazy anyways moving on point of this video i bought a book by Aubrey Marcus, owner and CEO or founder of On It, and it's Own the Day, Own Your Life, um, to sort of try to see if there's something in this book that can lead me back towards a more consistent lifestyle. And that's sort of the point of the book. Man, I just can't do this. I really can't do this. Eight minutes in, I know this is going to take me a long time. So I got this book for that reason, and uh, I gotta say, after reading the introduction and the chap uh, first chapter, I really like how this reads, and some of the points that he's already made, or even like just about the book itself, uh, talking about how there's just so many, you know, you know, one week to riches, or 30 days to losing weight, or you know, blah 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 blah, all these different challenges, which as you can, as you've seen on the channel, I've I've tried to take on some challenges like the naked program challenge, reload prep. I think there was one right before naked challenge and it didn't go through. I was actually trying to do my own. I don't even have any footage on my YouTube channel from that because I just, nope. But he mentions that and then says that there's too much of that and he'd rather, you know, rather than focusing on a number of days, focus on one day, just own a day or own the day. And his goal at the end of the book is to have you schedule a day and just own that day. Do everything that he prescribes and see what happens. At least one of the things that he prescribes is going to stick. And then that alone is going to be a huge change in your daily life. So that's exciting. And the way he's written this book, it is an easy read. It's really awesome. And that obviously helps me out a lot. I'm not a big reader. Don't love reading. Uh, but when a book captures me, um, just like Genius Foods, and there's one other book before that that was a really interesting book. Uh, it was like a very fictional book, but it was super cool. So link down below for this book if you want to jump into it. Uh, I'm going to be reading each chapter and then doing this. Uh, hopefully a lot more precise and less story. Like I won't tell you about why I got the book next time. So if you want to buy the book, uh, link down below. 
I'll be doing sort of a book review or a chapter to chapter takeaways and then we can start a discussion down uh, the comments down below and if you haven't joined the discord channel that I have link down below for that as well and maybe we can have an open discussion in there so first uh, the introduction uh, the main takeaway I got from that was you know everything is a choice everything we do has a choice and I've mentioned this on the channel before where you know I just make bad choices and what's really funny and relevant about this is like back in high school I actually wanted to create a sort of community uh, which I don't know what I was thinking I'm not that type of person everything is a choice we have choices throughout the day throughout our life and those choices make you know ripples for the rest of our life so in the in the introduction of the book he's talking about how you know when we're going through the morning it's a choice to either get up out of bed or you know sucker punch the alarm clock or have a bad snack rather than have a, a good meal or have a tasty soda beverage instead of a carbonated water so something that i definitely need to internalize a little bit more and that is what choices am i making every day and unfortunately my mind sort of uh rationalizes bad choices really easily like i'll be like oh yeah this bag of chips isn't that bad whatever or i won't even think about it i'll just be in that mode where i'm like i need something super tasty in my body right now in my mouth i need uh an energy drink that is fizzy and tastes good instead of just like having a black coffee and fasting until two and then having you know food that's actually going to help me feel better every day so gonna keep that in mind from now on everything is a choice and try to make those better choices now chapter one has uh, a whole lot in it and here's another cool thing about this book uh, to maybe incentivize you to jump on the bandwagon and, and grab it and read it with me is each chapter is sort of organized in a way that you know presents the common issue and then presents how you can own that issue and then it moves on to have other sort of like anecdotes or prescriptions or ways to um, take it head on so this first chapter is about uh, morning routines or kicking off the day right most of us go towards the wrong avenue or at least what he believes is wrong and um, end up sort of setting up a, a poor day so in, in the main takeaway there is like I've definitely read a few things and instituted this myself where you wake up and immediately go grab a glass of water. He has a different hack that is a little bit more specific and uh, the first day that I did it, it actually felt incredible. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail because I don't want to spoil the book. Um, you know, he wrote it for a reason. If you want to enjoy the actual content of the book. Like I said, buy it. It's a really, so far it's good. <laughs> and we'll be reviewing it from chapter to chapter. There's three things that he suggests in the morning. And uh, I haven't fully experimented with the entire thing yet because I haven't been able to motivate myself to do part of it. Uh, the th part of the three things, but the first two things I've been able to do and it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, and I definitely want to do it a lot more. So I'll just say this, it's about hydration. Just stay hydrated, friends. Uh, that I think that's going to be about it. It's about 15 minutes long. I'm hoping it'll be a little bit as uncut as possible for these so that I don't have to edit too much. Uh, there's a bunch of parts in, in this fifth take where I definitely need to cut it out. But uh, like I said, going to sit down in either this position or, you know, with my equipment behind me, uh, my garage is a complete mess. Uh, quick life update. Our house was delayed by a month, uh, but it looks like we should be on schedule to be moving uh, around December 15th ish. And right now the garage is sort of the black hole of things that we took out of the house or we cleaned up or we, tr we had a garage sale and it just all ended up in here. Um, so needless to say, the workout motivation is at its all-time lowest because the entire gym area is covered in stuff uh it sucks it definitely sucks i definitely should not have sold my floor mats as quickly as i did because that is number one probably the reason why i don't work out too much is because those are gone and there's nowhere to do 
you know, groundwork. Um, and I'm not gonna, you know, drop my nice competition plates on the concrete. When we, and I, for whatever reason, I like, I got on a freaking, I went on a rampage and just got rid of so many things that we didn't need to get rid of right away. I think I just wanted to get ahead of it and not be scrambling to sell things that we don't want. But the gym floor probably could have been here for a little longer. So that kind of sucks. Gonna get all new gym floor as soon as we get up to the new house. I'm so excited for this move. It's not even funny. Anyways, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, join the crew. And if you're not new, buy the book, read it with me, and uh, let's own the day and own my life, your life, our life, the crew's life. I'll see you in the next one.